from the depths of the secret scriptorium, where ancient chronicles intertwine with the threads of curiosity, emerges the haunting legend of the Dullahan, Ireland's very own harbinger of death. Amidst the sweeping landscapes and mist-covered moors of Ireland, his tale has been whispered down the ages, chilling the bravest of hearts. The green expanses of Ireland, where tales of fae and spirits dance with the wind, are home to the legend of the Dullahan. But this spirit is unlike any other. He is a signal of finality, an unyielding omen of mortality's climax. On nights when the moon hides behind darkened clouds, a mysterious rider emerges. Mounted on a pitch-black steed, he gallops, creating no sound on the stone pathways. He is the Dullahan, and he rides with an unsettling trophy, his very own severed head. Pale and grotesque, this head possesses an unsettling luminance, its eyes darting wildly and its mouth stretching into an eerie, mocking grin. One might think the decapitated head is the most fearsome aspect of this spectre, but it's his whip, crafted eerily from a human spine, that one should be most wary of. A single lash can blind or silence those unfortunate enough to witness his nocturnal journey, but it's when the Dullahan ceases his ride that the true terror unfolds. For wherever he stops, death soon follows. A whisper of a name from his lipless mouth, and a soul is marked for the afterlife. Tracing the roots of this dread-filled entity leads us back to ancient Celtic beliefs. The Dullahan is believed to be a manifestation of Cromdub, a Celtic deity once appeased with human sacrifices by an ancient Irish king. This connection to such a primordial deity might explain the Dullahan's unyielding grip over life and death. Throughout the years, the tales of the Dullahan have not waned, but instead evolved. To some, he is a symbol of the inescapable end that awaits us all. To others, he serves as a cautionary figure, a reason to hold respect for the age-old traditions and stories of the Emerald Isle. Within the vast and intricate library of the secret scriptorium, the Dullahan story rides on, echoing its chilling message. It's a timeless narrative reminding us of life's fragility, the mysteries that lie beyond, and the ancient tales that continue to shape the very fabric of cultures. And as the ink dries, the silent gallop of the Dullahan reverberates, an undying testament to Ireland's rich and haunting folklore. The tale of Dullahan has also inspired the tale of the headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. Across the ocean, in the quiet village of Sleepy Hollow, New York, another headless specter haunts the woods. Our tale takes a turn from the ethereal landscapes of Ireland to the fog-laden forests of America, where the legend of the Headless Horseman takes root. As the tales go, the Headless Horseman was once a Hessian soldier who fought during the American Revolutionary War. He met his untimely end from a stray cannonball which decapitated him. Buried hastily in an unmarked grave, his spirit never found peace. On certain nights, he rises, searching for his lost head, or perhaps looking to replace it. His dark silhouette against the moonlit sky is an omen of dread. He rides with a manic energy, chasing after frightened travelers, wielding a sword or sometimes a flaming pumpkin, which he hurls at those unlucky enough to cross his path. The climax of his story is intertwined with that of Ichabod Crane, a lanky schoolteacher with an appetite for ghostly tales. But on one fateful night, fiction became a chilling reality for Crane as he was pursued relentlessly by the headless horseman. Whether Crane escaped or was claimed by the phantom remains a point of contention and mystery. The Dullahan and the Headless Horseman, though from different lands and epochs, share eerie similarities. They're both remnants of a time where superstitions reigned, and the unexplained was attributed to the supernatural. The tales serve as a grim reminder of death's inevitability. But more than that, they emphasize the importance of respecting the dead and understanding that some things, especially those beyond the grave, are beyond our comprehension. From the darkened woods of Sleepy Hollow to the moonlit roads of Ireland, these legends have transcended time, becoming a part of our collective consciousness. Their tales of caution, of respect for the unknown, and of the timeless dance between life and death. And before you retreat to safety, remember to subscribe to The Secret Scriptorium for more tales that bridge the chasm between the known and the legendary.